D, you um, I I remember coming to you had a penthouse down in uh in Buckhead. off of Peachtree Street in Buckhead, um, right. and I remember coming over for the first time, and not only did I see Andre rising there, mm-hmm. but I saw who, who we all know today is Big Meech. Yeah, there. Yeah. Um, it wasn't a Meech that everybody know from right now. Meech. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, so when I hear a lot of stories, I hear people now, they, man, meet you this, meet you that. And I, I'd always be like, my nigga Big D, he was, he was the first to introduce me to him when, when this man, you know, didn't have nothing going on. Oh when God. we all was up under D. What's, what's, what's your relationship like with, with, with Meech now? I know he locked up. Yeah. And uh, to see him kind of what he done went through, um, was there any, ever any time that you pull up to the side because you are OG and be like, hey, you know, hey. I, I did just that when I came home. Because after I had did my little stint, you know, you know what I'm saying, when the federalists that came and picked me up, you know what I'm saying, I did my little part, you know what I mean. On my way out, you know, I did almost 10 years myself. Yeah. And on my way out, I used to hear, I was hearing their name in there. Mm. You know, everybody like, hey, man, you know your man, meet you when they out there. You know, and I'm like, what? This BMF whole movement and all that. I'm like, wow, he doing it like that? I'm like, oh, okay. So by the time I got home, you know, they was already, they was up there, up through there. <laughs> they was up through there. I, mean, I was actually amazed, you know, at what they were doing because yeah. I had never seen that, you know. And, you know, I used to put on some spectacles right, back right. in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah, and you know how we did it. You know, we it wasn't no make it rain type of thing. It was, right. We didn't do all that. He started all that, I guess. And right. Then, you know, we, you know, I, I walk in the club and every girl in the club coming over there, I want everybody to dance. Everybody get naked. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That's how I did it. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody in the club, y'all, everybody get naked. <laughs> you know? And that was my movement, you know what I'm saying? So when I came home and seen all this throwing money in the air, I'm like, what y'all doing? <laughs> you know what I'm throwing the money in the air? Yeah. Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So when I came home and uh, he, he, he he actually summons me, he summons me. He wanted me to come, you know, this little club. He opened a little club called Babylon right across from the studio we had over in Buckhead. Okay. When I yeah. came home. Right. And it had the Babylon little thing right there on the corner. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember, like, it was the first night or the first week they were opening or something. Yeah. And, um, yeah, me and Shorty, me mm-hmm. and little Shorty went over there. Ghetto Mafia Shorty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went over. He said, Meach, wanted, you know, we want you to come over there and everything. And, uh, man, I went over there, man. And, and mind you, I ain't, I ain't, I'm still in the area. I ain't been home. Four months, right. you know what I mean? So I, I walk in, man, and I'm like, it's a movie. I'm talking about the dude got two security dudes standing at the VIP door, because they had an all glass VIP. So when you walk in the club, everybody out here, and then meet them back there. <laughs> right, behind right. Behind the glass. Behind the glass. Yeah, so two big security guys, man, sure to get the door, and be like, yeah, man, we here to see Meach, man. And uh, showed her, like, yeah, this Big D right here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Man, they opened the door like they were waiting on me. So. Right, right. Man, I walked in there, man, it's dudes lined, I'm talking about lined up women dudes. Everybody got a bottle in their hand, a bottle of champagne in their hand. And I'm just like, what in the world is going on? I don't like, I had never seen nothing like it. Yeah. Uh, Everybody got a bottle of champagne in their hand. Uh, and when I tell you, men short of walking through that, it was like a movie. Because we walking to, he all the way in the back. Right. So you have to walk through all these people to get to him. Mm-hmm. He's standing all the way in the back. And by the time me and Shorty got back there, he was standing there. He seen me. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's my guy. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. Then we did the Ghetto Mafia. Now, people don't know, that's one of Meech's favorite groups all the mm. time. I'm right. going to tell you that right now. Meech loves the Ghetto Mafia. You know what I'm saying? We sold it's more up. records in D- Detroit. And we sold in Atlanta. Exactly. That was our biggest selling. That's what that's what Meach's from, right? And that's what Meach's from. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what Meach's from. He's from Detroit. So we actually sold more records in Detroit than we sold. We sell more records in Detroit than Atlanta. Right. And, you know, mainly that had a lot to do with MC Breed because yeah. we did a lot of records, you know, did some records right. with Breed. Yeah. Right, right. But, yeah, man, we were really big up there. So he was a major Ghetto Mafia fan mm. yeah. for the record. Right. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so I got back there, man. And you know, he dapped up and everything, man. The man had a paper sack. Paper, I, I think he still had the brown paper bags that <laughs> still in. Right. You know, they changed it plastic now, they mm. look plastic. Right, right, right. He had a, a paper grocery sack next to him, full of money, bro. Full mm. of money. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> 
I just couldn't believe all this was happening. Like, yeah. where they do this at? Like, you can do this? Come on. Right. Yeah, like, that's, you know, where I came from. You know, I just didn't realize we could do it. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking at the bag. I'm like, yo, bro, you get to it out here, man. And, and you know, and then that's why, you know, we started talking. I tell him, I said, yeah, boy, I'm here. I'm here. I ain't hear about your name behind the wall, but you, you know what I'm saying? You doing all this like this? And he said, uh, what are they going to lock me up with, BD? Spending money? Mm, he said, wow. that's all I do. He said, all I do is spend money. So what are they going to lock me up for spending money? I don't know if you got a point. <laughs> 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 that's all you do? I guess, hey, ain't that nigga do, you yep. know? Right. Yeah, so I did. I, that's how I brought it to him, you know, because I told him, I said, I heard your name ranging behind the wall. They said, you making noise out here. Right. You know, he said, hey, man, I'm just spending money, man. 